you saw the animation at the beginning of the video and you want to make something like that? Well, you came to the right place. All you will need to do before we'll start is first get Moon Animator, which now costs $10, and then sit down and reconsider your life choices. After that, yeah, you're good to go. Alright, let's just say you have downloaded Moon Animator and now you want to use it. You're going to be able to find Moon Animator over here, over here in the Plugins tab. And if you open it, Moon Animator will be right here. So, in here we have Moon Animator itself, Character Inserter, and Easy Weld. I will go over what all of these do uh, later in the video. For now, we're gonna go open up Moon Animator. Now we get up this pop-up. Now, the first time we're gonna open Moon Animator, there sh uh, shouldn't be anything in here. But because I already filmed this uh, tutorial multiple amount of times and kept persistently fail failing, uh, I already have an animation. But, uh, in order to create a new animation, you will just click over here, New Moon 2 File. And it will open up this. In order to add a character, you will press this little plus sign and you will add a character over here. You will select, make sure the rig is selected and press OK. Now the character is added to Moon Animator and we can move it. Now over here character in Character Inserter, when we open it up, it will pop up this menu. Uh, you can animate uh, faces, if they're gonna load. Yeah, it's the new weird um, creepy uh, Roblox update. I, I really do not like it. This is not human. Uh, so yeah, you can animate faces, so that's pretty cool. Uh, then there's pre uh, presets, and you can choose from all these rigs that they give you. So this one would be like good for combat animations or whatever you think, whatever suits your heart. Uh, so uh, over here, you can also insert ID of other people, and uh, they will appear here, and you can select from uh, uh, other. Uh, your friends uh, avatars you would just paste the ID here and it would appear here but as you can see I since I have absolutely no friends I will insert this rig in R6 we'll put it right here and we're just gonna name it Grenab 2 because I already have Grenab 1 now another note is you if you want to add um, something to Moon Animator, it can't have um, a same name with something else in the workspace. The name must be unique. So for example, if I named him Baseplate, it wouldn't work. He must be named something unique. And that applies for anything you want to add into Moon Animator. Another way to add a character to, to an animation is by pressing the character. And then over here, pressing New Rig Animation, and it will do this. Now, let's say I want to save it. You can save it by pressing File, and uh, Save and Close. And then you can name it uh, whatever you want. I'm going to name it like Animation 3. Now, the difference uh, that there is between uh, adding the character the first way I showed you and the second way I showed you is the following. If you go over here to this character that I showed you in the beginning of the video, and we go open him up, the rig is completely normal and there's nothing um, weird about it. Now if we go over here to the second rig and open him up, you can see that there is a new uh, model in the character, and it's called Anim Saves or Animation Saves. And in here you can see that there is um, this thing, and it's added when you uh, make a new rig animation. So that is the dif difference between the two. We're gonna go and open up this animation. And also I will just need you to uh, disappear. Alright, so now we can see this. Uh, when you press on these little squares you can move the character around uh, and yeah, so you can't press on the arm like you used to be able to. You have to now press these little individual squares and it's very, very annoying. Um, now, uh, when you first select it, it may probably... Uh, 
believe be like just set to move so if you want to change it to rotate you will press R on your keyboard and it will you can switch between move and uh, rotate like this now uh, let's say I want to add a keyframe over here in the moon animator you select the uh, uh, the part that you want to add a keyframe to and then press plus on your keyboard this will add a keyframe in order to delete the keyframe you press delete button on your keyboard and it will delete the keyframe now if you want to select multiple parts you hold shift and you select uh, up to which uh, so let's say I want to select from right arm to head you hold shift and it will select the head and everything in between if you want to select individual parts you will hold control and select individual parts how does do you make an actual animation we'll add keyframe for all of these and now we'll move this little line to let's say 40 milliseconds uh, now if we take him and let's just say we will move him right here for some reason and we re and we press space it will play the animation as you can see at the moment the animation is looped so in order to stop the looping you can press this button and if you want to loop you will press it again and make sure that it has this symbol but right now I want to turn off looping so there it is now, if you want to make the animation play slower, you would move the keyframes away from each other. This will, uh, this will make the animation to be played a lot more slowly. Now, if you want the animation to be played really quickly, you would move the keyframes really close to each other. And that way the animation will be done a lot faster. And it's really that simple. It is very easy to animate uh, characters in Moon Animator. A lot better than um, this cacophony of an animator Roblox provides you. And yeah, so now we're gonna go and explore what does the well tool, what is the well tool, easy well tool used for. Now we have this phone over here, and it is right now just a model. Okay, it's a model. Uh, and I want the character to hold the phone and actually be animatable with the phone. Uh, so what we're about to do is going to be called rigging. So we're going to rig the phone to the character. Now I already have a rigging animation tutorial and that explains the rigging process a bit more in depth. But um, for this video we're just going to do a basic attaching a phone uh, to the character's arm. Now what we're going to first want to do is name the, uh, the model something unique. So I'm going to name it phone. phone. There we go. Phone. Now we're gonna open up the model and we're gonna wanna find uh, a part. Now we're not looking just for any part, we're looking for a part that is uh, going to be the like the main part of the phone, which is what the the part to which we're gonna attach the hand. That 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 makes sense, right? Uh, so I found this part and I'm just gonna name the part phone. It doesn't matter if the name of the model is the same as this is the name of the part. Now right now the part is just named the models made but we want all of these parts right here to be attached to this one part. So what we're gonna do is first of all we're gonna open up Easy World. Now Easy World over here has three options. There's cleaner, cleaner, uh, there's parts, and then there's mod. Now, uh, from my own experience, I never had to use cleaner. I, I, I never use cleaner. I, maybe there's a point purpose for it. You can find a purpose for it, but I never use it. Generally, I mostly use parts and model. So right now we're gonna be using model. So we'll just switch to that. Now you're gonna want to select the model of the phone and the phone part. And then we're gonna want to press weld model. What this had just done is created all these welds to this part. So basically all of these parts are attached to this one part. Great. So now we have that figured out. Now we're gonna want to position the phone in the character's arm. So I'll be choosing the left arm. 
right? I put it like this. Yeah, I think it's pretty decent. We, we can still uh, animate the phone in the moon animator later anyway. Now, what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna put the phone into the character. So the phone right now is in the model of the character. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna select the... Um, actually, first we're gonna open up Easy World, just so it's ready. And we're gonna ch switch it to parts. Now we're gonna select the left arm, and then we're gonna select this uh, phone part that we made. Now, you will notice uh, the following. So, there is... Um, Join uh, in place, and then uh, there's this uh, checkbox that says animatable. So if we uncheck this box, then the part will be uh, stuck to the hand, and you will not be able to adjust the phone in the hand in the moon animator. But we would like to do that, so we're gonna check this box and press join in place. Now what it had just done is it created this thing in the left arm of this of our character. So, if we go over here to Moon Animator and open up our animation, we can see that the phone moves with the hand. And, yeah, see, there we go. It moves with the hand and we can adjust the phone. Okay, there we go. So now, uh, he's like holding the phone and then he's like calling someone. So, yeah, this is how you attach uh, a phone or any object to that matter. Uh, to a character's hand. Uh, also, another note, if you're, the thing you want to attach is a single part, you can't just name that part a separate thing, and then you can put into the model of the character and repeat the same steps. Um, but since our phone was a model, we had to do this whole welding thing. So now, uh, you may notice that the animation looks a bit stiff, and uh, there's one way to fix it. So, let's select these two frames. I will sh explain why these two frames in specific later. And if you press 7 on your number pad, this menu will pop up. Now, uh, there's this value thing, don't touch that. Uh, but then there's this, it's um, the animation style, I guess. So. Um, by default, it is set to linear. Now, let's just say if, what happens if we set it to none. Well then, uh, it will go to these keyframes when this line reaches these keyframes. And the keyframes in front affect the keyframes that go after it. So let's say I had two um, keyframes after these ones. The, the style of these keyframes, which is linear right now, would affect the a way it would go to these keyframes. So just uh, keep that in mind. But I don't want it to instantly teleport to this position, so I um, we want to change something else. I would recommend using something like sign in out or quad in and out or like cubic. Uh, yeah, but there's a lot of options here. There's even back and there's bounce. Elastic, uh, the possibilities are endless. But we're just gonna set it to side and out and watch this. Look at how smooth it is. Now, uh, keep in mind that uh, if you have like a super complicated animation, async styles alone will not solve it. You're gonna have to um, put a little bit of work, make it like. Uh, make it look smooth and stuff, but this can help uh, make it look more alive because we don't move like ro robots in real life. Now, another cool thing about Moon Animator is it actually lets you animate the camera. And this is like the best thing ever. Uh, now, how do we add the camera to the Moon Animator? We can either way do it by pressing this little plus sign and going here to workspace and adding the camera. Now, it will open this thing will pop up. And over here we can select what we want to add. Uh, we're gonna select C frame and field of view and we're just gonna add that. Now uh, how does the uh, how do we animate the camera? So the first thing you want to do is you're gonna want to position your camera like this. Then we'll add a keyframe and then 
uh, you move this little line, make sure you move the line first. And then you position the camera somewhere else you want. So let's say right here. Now you select, um, oh my God. <laughs> then you select the C, uh, the C frame line and then you press plus on your number pad to add a keyframe. And now if you press play or space bar, it will play the animation like this. So it will go from one side to the other. And yes, of course, if you are wondering, you can change this uh, dial of the camera. So if we set it to sign and now, it will look smooth like this. Pretty impressive. Now another thing you can change is field of view over here. Uh, oops. If you press plus on your uh, add a keyframe over here, press seven. Also, uh, if you just double click it, uh, you don't have to press 7 on your number pad, you can just double click and it will open up. You can go over here to uh, value, and right here you can change the FOV. So let's say I want to set it to 30, it will be set to 30 and it looks a lot more cinematic. Not gonna lie. This is what I use for all my videos. Now uh, there is uh, another thing that you can add, so if you press these three dots you can actually uh, decide to add more things so we're gonna add attach to part and look at part look at part is a new one when I started they didn't have it so uh, let's add a keyframe for attach to part now attach to part is actually very interesting uh, if we double click it or just press someone on your number pad this thing will pop up again uh, now we can select the part we want to uh, anchor the camera to so let's say I will select the head of my character and I press set and the, the camera will be teleported to our character set uh, obviously we're inside of it so we can see the glasses and everything uh, now I'm not sure what we'll look at part does so let me quickly check so we'll add it oh okay so it just kind of like forces the camera to look at the part. I don't know how this could be used, but you know that it's here now. And uh, I think this should be it. So this was a quick rundown of Moon Animator, and yeah.